Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about my biggest problem with paid ASO tools. So this morning I'm traveling to London. So the reason I'm in London today is a, to attend an App Annie event where they're going to show you how to use the Pro Tools. There's going to be like 10 people there, like a workshop. So I've always been curious about whether or not the Pro Tools would be worth it in App Annie. I've always used the free version, so I'm hoping I learn a little bit more about that. And I'm really hoping they let me film a little bit of it. Okay, so the workshop is over. It only lasted like an hour and a half, and it was really strange. There was like maybe about 15 developers in there. We had to sign something to say we weren't gonna take any pictures or videos or anything like that, but they just gave us access to the pro platform so we could look up all our competitors' data and see what the platform was like to see if we would buy it, but they never made a sales pitch at the end, so it was just kind of a, like I said, it was kind of strange. And to be honest with you, when I look at the, the full platform, just knowing how much it costs, because I was quoted like at $700 a month for like one category, like this was years ago. I, they didn't even say what the price was this time. When I look at all that and how, think about how much it costs, I'm pretty unimpressed. And I think this is the same with a lot of app tools. And I love App Annie. I use it all the time. It's probably my favorite ASO tool, but the free version does really, really well. But still, it was a nice morning. It was nice to meet other developers. I think that was a, the best thing I got out of it. So my biggest problem with these paid information tools like App Annie or Sensor Tower or Mobile Action, the tool, there's a whole bunch of them that keep coming out again and again, which will suggest keywords, and that's very useful, suggesting keywords, but also giving you market data. My biggest problem with them is that they're also expensive, right? I'm always surprised at how expensive they are, and if you don't know what to do with the data, it's not worth it. So over the years, I've had subscriptions to, like the paid subscriptions to Sensor Tower, Mobile Action, and the tool, and each time I've been like, just kind of disappointed like I would get a lot of data but nothing very specific on how to use it I would get keyword suggestions which I try and didn't quite work or other things and it was just never quite worth it and I think most of the, the thing that bothers me most is I think it's me I think it's like on my side so the nice thing about the app Annie tool that I looked at today was I was able to check my competitors so some of the apps that are not doing that well and I'm trying to improve the rankings of I was able to see whether or not the competitors who are able to make it work are making what they're earning, seeing what they're doing. But then that was like a one-off thing. So just I just never really saw the point in these tools. I mean, I see the point in them, but I just, I never got the return back for paying for them. I mean, have you guys ever, have you guys ever got a good return from using something like Sensor Tower, Mobile Action, or App Annie paid version? Because I'd be really interested to know. But it wasn't a waste of the day because it was really nice day out. I, you know, I'm, I'm really, Please, that App Annie invited me along to this thing. I was able to meet some other app developers. I mean, like big, like you know, the guy I was sitting next to has like the top transportation app in in the UK. I mean, really. So I'm asking all these questions about paid. Are you paying for acquisition? Are you doing search? All that kind of stuff. So whenever you can go to these kind of events, I highly encourage it. Not so much for the content of the event, which you hope will be good, but more for the people that you will meet at them. So. Anyway, it was a good day out. Thanks very much for coming along with me. I'll talk to you guys again next time.